Hello guys, it's Nim and welcome back to my channel. So today we are building in our Australian zoo and we are adding the first habitat. And our first animal that we are adding in this zoo is the koala. So today we are building koala islands. So if you haven't watched the previous episode where we do the entrance and plaza and shops, make sure you check that out. I will have that linked down below. So make sure you check that out first and then come back to this video or, you know, watch this one first and the other video because there isn't really an order in which you need to watch it. So just also make sure you watch it because it is, even if I say so myself, quite a good video. And today we are making our first animal, adding our first animal, making our first habitat. And I have to say, I put so much effort in this video and in this build. It is really insane. So first we are messing with the null barrier because this is a walkthrough habitat and we needed to add the gates. And I almost never make walkthrough habitats so it was kind of a struggle to figure out how the gates work with all the different like paths and the different wide, the wide width? Wide? Width? I'm not sure. Like how big the path can be. I'm not sure how to say it, how to pronounce it anymore. I forgot English. It's a common theme for me by now, I just forget English. So right now I remember that we needed to make this um, bridge a little bit safer because you know you don't want your kids to fall off or you for yourself to fall off the bridge and end up in the water because you know that's not really that nice. So we are adding safety bars uh, on the bridge and you will see me doing that in most of this most of the videos like every bridge needs to have safety bars every habitat needs to have safety bars we're going for realistic here i mean that's completely realistic because you know it is my own creation but we do need to have those securities pretty solid and pretty safe so we are adding that and then in a minute we are making our barrier we are adding some windows in it so you can look into the barrier from all the different sides just simple as that. I was thinking of using the null barrier and then placing rocks and everything, but that would have been just too much rock, like really too much. So we are just adding windows like this and using a normal barrier. We are making sure that the animals can't climb on it though, because you know, we don't want our koalas escaping from the zoo. That's not really necessary and not really the meaning of this zoo. What we are going to do before we start on the actual inside of the habitat is make sure that the outside of the habitat is perfect. And I mean perfect. So we are decorating the complete outside of this habitat and we are using everything from the Australia pack and from the desert biome because this zoo is located in a desert area. So we obviously need all the desert plants. And I know that maybe when you think of a desert, you don't think there's a lot of foliage, you don't think there's a lot of landscaping. Well, this desert has a lot, and I mean, a lot of landscaping. It took me, I think I have four hours of footage and I cramped it into a 17 minute video. So there is, it's sped up, obviously, and there is quite a lot of cutting of the footage, you know, because you don't want to see me placing landscaping all around this island. That would be kind of boring and I wouldn't like to watch that myself, so I'm not going to force you guys to watch it. We are going to have a little bit of the placing though, we're going to cut around from one side to the island to the other side of the island. So you can just see what I'm doing. You will also see it on the anima animatics? animation? Cinematics, that was the word I'm looking for. You also see it at the cinematics in the end, so um, if you want to watch those, you just skip ahead through the end and they, they will be there. But you know, watching someone build the entire habitat could be fun as well, so maybe you should just stick around. And this is actually the second episode in our Australia Zoo and next week we are going to add some kangaroos. And I had some pretty good ideas for what other animals to add in. but. You know, if you guys have an idea for an animal that should be here, do let me know in the comments. I will see um, where I can place the animal in the zoo and if the animal actually belongs in this zoo because, you know, we're not gonna place like an African elephant in our Australian zoo because that would be kind of weird. You know, stuff like that. So, and I have to say, I really, 
really enjoyed making landscaping with only the desert things. I never knew there would be so much variation in all these plants. And it actually really, really surprised me how many different kind of landscaping and scenes you can actually make with it. With also all these different kind of bushes. I'm not actually sure what they are, but the things that we are placing now. They are so amazing and they are so versatile. You can mix them with almost everything. And it really looks amazing. So we try to keep the style pretty similar in the entire zoo. So we are using the same foliage and the same layout as we used for the entrance as well. And we are now adding some koala signs because you know it is koala island so beware of the koalas. And I know that the surface is like pretty, pretty big for our koalas. But you know that's fine so they have space. That is quite important as well that our koalas have space to walk around and wander free. And I actually didn't realize it when I was building this koala island, but apparently, according to the game, koalas can only live in groups of four. So there are four koalas and they have like this massive, massive amount of space. So, you know, that's something. <laughs> At least they have enough space. Also, there's been happening this weird glitch in my Planet Zoo game. I don't know if any of you guys had that as well, but when I finished building this uh, habitat, Obviously, I check if the koalas have all their needs. They have the climbing, like, they need 80 square meters. And they had, like, almost 400. So they had more than enough climbing. And I opened the game to work on my next habitat. And suddenly, our, my koala welfare was, like, pretty low. I was like, oh no, what happened? And suddenly, they weren't able to climb in the trees anymore, which was really, really weird. So I don't know if, it's, if I'm the only one that has this problem but it's, it's weird and I don't know how to fix it, so now my koalas are unhappy. I'm sure it will be better. I had the same problem in the woodland zoo with my cheetahs. Oh no, jaguars, I mean the jaguars, so... I'm not sure, we'll see. So right now we are building our viewing point. And our viewing point... First I wanted to make it out of stone and then I was like, no, I'm gonna do it with the wood things. Then I was like, no, I'm gonna use these poles because they're pretty Australian. So we are using them and we are making sure that they are like the border. So they are, it looks like separate windows and I'm actually really, really happy with it. And we will be using this uh, throughout our zoo. So we have the theme very clear in our zoo. And I absolutely love it. And obviously we are placing another beam on top of it just to make sure that it looks um, completely finished. And I have to say, I really, really like it. And now we are just copying it over to the other side to make sure it looks the same on every single side. Because, you know, you want to have that unity. And I actually think it looks really nice. Also, when we put a roof on top there, it's going to be a custom roof. And I'm actually quite happy with the way it looks. I'm, I'm going to keep saying it, but I'm really surprised that it looked this good. Because I didn't actually expect it. And it just... Um, shows to myself that my building skills are growing and I'm getting better and better at this game. And I personally really like that because, you know, when I started this game I had no clue how to actually play it because I never played a Planets game before. And I've obviously I've heard of Planet Coaster but I never played it and then Planet Zoo came out and my computer was finally good enough to play it. And I'm just so incredibly happy that I have this game and that I can play it. It's just wow. So this is the custom roof that we are doing. It might not be completely custom because obviously this is just an item that you can buy in the game. But we are gonna make something pretty spectacular about this. And I quite, quite like it. It looks really wholesome and nice and colorful. And I really like the color scheme. I was thinking, should I do green and red? I was thinking, what are like koala and Australian colors? And I had absolutely no clue. And then I came across this combination. I was like, yes. This is the combination that we need. This is absolutely perfect. So we are using white, light blue, yellow and the black. And it all lines up accordingly and it looks so good. And I have to say, um, I made the same mistake that I always do. Hard learn, I write. Um, I built the roof before I built the interior of this uh, viewing point. So. Placing anything in this viewing point right now is really difficult, so you had to be like really zoomed in and it was quite, quite difficult. So before we do that, because I already knew my mistake, I was like, oh no, 
we are now placing our safety bar so just to make sure that our kids don't fall off and you know plunge to their death or break something you know just making sure it's safe and now we are placing our little seating area so you can just sit here and enjoy the koalas that are probably gonna walk around placing some trash bins or actually I think that's the same we're placing some bins and some donation boxes obviously because you know we want that money we want those donations and also some educational um, boards and speakers just to make sure that we get enough education because we want our guests to be educated as well and right here we are placing our natural water and I, I do this in every single habitat and every single zoo that I'm building I need to for my animals to have natural water you know you can give them that little um watery thing that costs like 300 uh, dollars i think this game is in or pounds i'm not really sure i mean it costs like 300 money and um you can use it but i just like to use natural water because you know in real nature they're going to use that anyways and we are making sure this water looks natural together with the rest of this entire zoo. So we are placing the desert rocks, we're having a mix of the red rocks and the gray rocks. And I think those are sand rocks, I believe they're called. And obviously not only on the edge, but also a little bit further into the water, just to make sure, like see, these rocks are flowing all the way. And I actually really like the way this is turned out and the koalas can actually walk across it. Not that they've done that yet, but the traversable area walks like across it and above it, so it is pretty amazing. I have had one swimming, and I think that is in the um, cinematics as well. And here we are building our shelter for the koalas. And we're doing a custom shelter with the new Australia planks. And we are just making sure that it's big enough, and then we are using these climbing areas to make sure that they can go up and then on the upper level there will be the hay where they can sleep so the guest won't be able to disturb them there and this all traversable area see that's what i mean it's all traversable area and suddenly they have non traversable area so i think there's somewhere uh, in this game is a bug i'm not sure if it's just me or other people as well but it is freaking annoying i can tell you that so you know but that's that that's a worry for another time not for now Right now we are making sure that the terrain looks nice and I was actually quite surprised but these animals like like grass, like a lot and a lot of grass. They don't even really like the desert that much. They are like the temperate biome and I think the uh, tropical, yeah, tropical and temperate, which I was kind of surprised about because obviously I put a lot of desert things in there and a lot of desert plants surrounding the habitats. But I decided not to change that, you know, um, it doesn't really matter. They're not gonna die or anything about it, so. And I still forgot to check up what it's actually called. I think we have the palm trees, but then those weird little, I don't know, those things that grow in the water. In Dutch you call it riet. But I'm not really sure if that's also, it's probably not the English word, but I don't know the English word, so you know, whatever. You know, just making sure that we are placing all these trees, and those are the blood trees, and I absolutely love them. Like the detail on the texture is so amazing. Same with the palm trees, they are so detailed. And I know I'm like, I'm gonna keep saying that, but I'm just, wow, I'm really amazed with it. And now we are using these white trees, and those are actually the trees that the koalas can climb in really high. And luckily they can't escape like from one tree to the other tree and then escape out of the habitats. But wow, I just love it. The way that, it's really weird to say this because I build it, but I love the way that all the plants look in this habitat and they look really like one big habitat. It doesn't look like I just put some random trees down, but it really looks like one hole. And I absolutely love the way that it looks. Also with all those different plants, we are using them. The trees obviously also around the habitat just to make sure that it looks nice because your habitat can look nice but the entire zoo needs to look nice so we are working on that and like i said i'm getting better and better at this game and i just absolutely love that the first habitat that we are adding in this zoo is the koalas because i love koalas also i'm not sure if you can hear the wind right now but it's like the wind is pretty hard so if you can hear that in the background i am sorry also if you can hear the cars i'm sorry as well they are so loud on Sunday it's ridiculous. Usually 
Um, you don't really hear the cars driving around the streets, but on Sunday, for some reason, you always hear them. They probably do it on purpose because they know I'm recording on Sunday. I'm guessing that's it. You also have this little weird plant, I'm not really sure what it is, but it reminded me a little bit of lattice. It, it is not lattice, but it just it looked so weird. So I felt the need to place it anyways, because you know, it was pretty weird. I think that in a minute we are actually going to start on the climbing area and all the habitat things. Because we are pretty much done with all the landscaping. I thought, but apparently we're not. Apparently we're adding some more desert things that the animals don't really like, but you know, who cares. Ah yeah, there we go, now we're going into climbing. We are adding this little uh, climbing adventure so they can climb from high, from low to high and then from high to low again. And I really love it. I mean, as a kid, I always climbed on those things because we used to have those in the neighborhood and I loved it. Although sometimes the wood was like rotten and you'd fall down and it hurt pretty much, but then, you know, who cares, you're a kid. So you're just gonna do it again and again and again. And after a while, you learn how to recognize the rotten spots and then you just skip them. Should probably see if they still have them in the neighborhood. Hmm. Oh well. We are going to use the uh, enrichment items like in a way that the guests can also see the koalas use it. And I know that koalas, um, like they had a pretty confident role um, or relationship with the, with the guests. So I'm not really afraid that they will get stressed because there are so many guests that otherwise we'll just put a sign up that says shh and then they will be less stressed. You know, but otherwise it's pretty amazing that the guests can just walk around and do that. I'm, I wonder if that's if that's like that in real life as well, because I've never actually been in Australia or uh, seen a koala in real life because they don't really have them in the zoos where they are in my neighborhood. So it's pretty amazing. So right now we are finishing, we're doing the finishing touches. We are adding some more um, electric just to make sure that everything is powered, you know, because that is pretty important as well. Otherwise the guests, uh, there will be education boards, but the guests will not get educated and we need our guests to be educated to get our rating of our zoo up. And I think that's it actually guys. So we are going into the cinematics and make sure you like, comment and subscribe and I will hope to see you guys on the next one. Bye guys.